Following up their incredible Stockholm SDX release from last week, the folks at Toontrack have just this week released a new EBX for Easy Bass. And I've got to say, again, I sound like a broken record. It is a killer EBX and a killer addition to an already incredible product. This is called the Session Player EBX, and it is a model of a 1963 vintage Fender Precision Bass, arguably maybe the most recorded bass in history, a bass we've probably heard on countless recordings without even realizing it. So what a great addition to Easy Bass. Without further ado, today we're going to take a look at the website, see what this is all about, we're going to take a look at the different presets, the sounds, the grooves, the articulations. And you can hopefully make a decision if this is an addition that you want to bring into your Easy Bass ecosystem. For the short period I've used it so far, I can say I'm really, really happy to have it. Just by way of full disclosure, the fine folks at Toontrack were kind enough to send this over to me free of charge to check out, but that's not going to have any influence on how I feel about it. I think most folks know how I feel about most Toontrack products, and I've yet to come across one that I don't love and that I don't use all the time. And this is not going to be any different. I'm really looking forward to being able to utilize this in my productions and later you're going to hear a full audio mix utilizing not only one of the built-in presets from the Stockholm SDX used in conjunction with one of the stock presets in the Session Player EBX just so you can kind of hear what these sound like in the mix also. So without further ado let's head over to the Toontrack website. So here we are over on the Toontrack website, Session Player EBX, uh, wonderful graphics again as usual. So it says here it's a vintage 1960s electric bass with flat wound strings inspired by a broad range of styles and sounds. So that is one thing I noticed, this is going to be a very flexible EBX and we will be able to use it in a lot of different situations. It includes finger and pick options as well as tapping articulations includes a collection of presets covering a width of general go-to bass tones, and it also comes with a custom MIDI library. So let's jump down here. Obviously, if you want to go over to the Toontrack site, they have full productions and the finger and pick presets sounds. You can just click these play buttons and you can hear them there as well. The instrument, it says the bass that covers all basses. Few basses have seen the inside of more iconic studios, graced more timeless records, toured more highway miles, or let alone been played, revered and trusted by more great players in the Fender Precision Bass. And this one in particular, as it says down here, the instrument in question for this specific EBX heralds from 1963, the golden era of the 60s, and the decade in which the Precision truly cemented its role as the standard. So we're going to take a look through the presets, we're going to take a look through the articulations, and and we'll take a closer look right within Easy Bass. All right, so here we are over in Easy Bass now in the Session Player EBX. First and foremost, we have up here what we're used to, right? We have our Bass tab, our Grooves tab, all the things that we always have in Easy Bass. Now we can do a quick pull down here on the included presets. You'll notice they're lumped together as fingered presets or pick presets. And there's a lot here to unpack. We have the Clean DI, Amp Booth, Amp Tape, Ballad Bass, Big Amp, British Console, Chorus Room, Classic Amp, Dirty and Clean, Line and EQ, Medium Saturation, Mid Range Forward, Roomy and Deep, Scanner Vibrato and Studio Preamp. And in the pick category down here, we also add a power pop. So we're going to take a listen to those in just a moment. One thing to keep in mind as we change through this, and this is something that could easily be missed by some folks. When we go to a new preset, you're going to see a whole different number of controls up here. You'll notice here we have our line and our amp, so a DI and an amp, and we can adjust those volumes separately. The preset is a great starting point. We could add our sub bass in, but we can tweak these if we're in a mix and we just need to have these tweaked a little bit different for our own uses. As we move through this, we go to amp booth, and you'll notice now we have a direct and an amp, but with different controls. We have a distortion on the amp now, still have our sub bass, a little more control control over our DI, amp and tape, you'll see here we have EQ, compression, tape drive, sub bass still, ballad bass, we have the amp blend, EQ and compression. So I won't go through all of these right now, but as you can see, you know, chorus room, so lots of possibilities, but I must say that even with just the default settings, these presets do sound really, really good. All right, so now moving over to the grooves tab, if we go down, you'll notice that when we install this, we get an EBX session player. It's got a halftime swing 4-4 and a mid-tempo straight 4-4 categories. We have two songs in the swing 4-4 and three songs in the straight 4-4. Some really nice basic MIDI here to get us going and obviously we could utilize that in any way that we want and drag that into our timeline, edit it however we want, right? 
gives us a lot of options from complicated to fairly simple here sort of straight eighth note driving rhythm so lots of stuff that we can simply drag down to our timeline double click go into our grid editor edit this in any number of ways that we want right so great stuff nothing really too new there as far as how easy bass actually works it's always a good reminder to know that we can do those things now when we are here in the grid editor we also can see our articulations up here we have auto alternate fingers middle finger index finger Ghost notes, as we heard in some of the examples already, harmonics, percussive right-handed tapping, no slap and pop with this one. All right, so that's a quick overview of the interface and kind of what's included with it. Now I want you to actually be able to hear all of the presets just as they come up stock. So we're gonna do that first and foremost with one of the grooves from the MIDI library that's included with the Session Player EBX. We'll just loop that, it's an eight bar section. I thought that would be long enough to kind of hear every preset. You can skip through these if you don't wanna to listen to the whole thing. But I've gone through and recorded that eight bar loop with every single stock preset that we have, both fingered and picked versions versions of the preset, just so you can hear exactly what these sound like so that you know exactly what you're getting. After that, we'll come back and then I'll play you a full mix utilizing, as I mentioned before, the Stockholm SDX that was released last week with one of the stock presets included with that. And one of my favorite uh, stock presets from the Session Player EBX, one that I just felt suited the particular mix. It's kind of a, a country-ish feel to it that I originally did this little piece of music to showcase one of my Tonex tone model bundle. So for now, here are the presets.
All right, what did you guys think? I think that gave a, a nice little overview of what this is capable of and some of the presets that just kind of pop up when we open them by default. And I think you can see they're quite usable. So how do these sound in a mix now? Let's take a listen. <laughs> All right, what did you guys think? I thought that it worked really nice. I didn't make any tweaks to the EBX. I did add just a little tiny bit of high shelf EQ to the SDX just to give it a little bit of sparkle in the mix. And other than that, it was just the stock presets as they came up. Uh, I didn't really do much in the way of mixing. I just wanted to showcase what those sound like very quickly with my guitars overlaid. And I hope you liked that. And I hope that that can help you to decide whether this is something that you want to add to your collection. I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed in it. It's, it's hard to, to argue with having a, a great vintage Fender Precision tone in our EBX ecosystem so that we can grab those tones whenever we feel they're appropriate for our productions thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed that look at this great new offering from the folks at tune track if you do want to grab it there'll be a link below to the tune track website where you can buy it 89 dollars us and i don't think you'll be disappointed it's a really nice addition i'm happy to have it at my disposal to use in my production so thanks again so much for tuning in please like the video share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it also please subscribe to the channel hit the little bell notification to get notified when i put new content out i'll be back really soon with some more thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.